hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome to another book haul um, it's actually my fault I miscalculated because I knew the annual book fair was starting when I uploaded my last video I could have shown you the books all together I don't know why I didn't think about just waiting a couple of days because I knew I was going to get books at the book fair, obviously. It happens once a year, so... <laughs> anyway, so I have a lot of books to show you. Um, I don't know where to start, so I think I'm going to start with the three that I got brand new. Um, I only got these because they had a sale, so they were 20% off each and I really wanted these, so I couldn't find them at the used books stands, so I decided to pick these up. So the first one, um, I'm very excited about this, uh, it's Selected Poems of Lord Byron. I know a little bit about Lord Byron, but I don't know, I think at university they just don't like him because we don't talk about him, we didn't talk about him, and I studied literature for six years, but fine. Um, I'm very excited about this edition. This is part of the Wordsworth Poetry Library. I have one, which is the um, Collected Poems by W.B. Yeats, and it's in the same sort of collection, but it's a different edition, it's an older one. I really like these. You can get um, the Selected Poems of John Keats as well. Uh, so I was torn between Keats and Lord Byron, but something just called my attention. Um, I'm really excited. I know a little bit about him. I know some of his poems, just a few. So I'm excited about getting to know him a little bit better. Um, and this is a very, very beautiful edition, as you can see. Then I got two brand new books, also Wordsworth editions, but these are classics and I got them at a different stand, but they were also 20% off each. So the first one is Fyodor Dostoevsky's The Karamazov Brothers. I swear, like I've seen this book with a different title, The Brothers Karamazov. I swear I did. I hope I'm not crazy, but in this edition, in the Wordsworth Classics edition, is the Karamazov Brothers. I really want to read this. Richa from For the Love of Classics vlogging about this book. I've been meaning to get it, so I'm very excited. I know a little bit about the story because I watched her vlog, but no spoilers, so <laughs> I'm not going to read the blurb. I've made that mistake before. I'm not going to do it now. Um, but yeah, I'm just very excited about diving into this. And then I also got Moby Dick by Herman Melville. Um, I have been meaning to get this one because there is, I think, a reading challenge that features Moby Dick, but I can't remember now, so I need to look it up. If I can find the video that talks about the challenge, I'll just link it down below because I've been watching a lot of YouTube just to get it out of my system before I have to go back to work. And I think I'm like getting all my videos mixed up. But if I remember, I'll put it in the description box below. But yeah, um, also, I love the story. I know a little bit about it because I read like a kid's edition when I was younger. Um, but yeah, it's just one of those books that I feel like I have to read one day. So here it is. And then I got four used books. One of them looks used, the others are brand new. So I got this one, The Rainmaker by John Grisham. I finished The Testament a few weeks ago, loved it, but I wasn't a fan of the translation. I, I actually got a Portuguese translation, so I figured I would just read John Grisham in English this time. And I'm just going to read the blurb because I don't know anything about this book. But I'm just going to read the first part because it has like two paragraphs and I'm, I'm afraid that the second one might spoil something. So I'm just going to read the beginning. It says, it's summer in Memphis. The sweat is sticking to Rudy Baylor's shirt and the creditors are nipping at his heels. Once he had aspirations of breezing through law school and punching his ticket to the good life. Now he doesn't have a job or a prayer except for one. 
an insurance dispute that leaves a family devastated and opens the door for a lawsuit if Rudy can find a way to file it. Um, I'm not going to read the rest. Again, I've made that mistake <laughs> and even with more contemporary novels, uh, the blurbs can be very spoilery, so I'm not going to read the second paragraph, but I really, really, really like the Testament, so I think I'm going to love this one anyway. I just got it because it was by John Grisham. <laughs> so this one was three euros fifty. We actually paid three euros only. Uh, we asked if it could be three euros and he said okay. Uh, so yeah, it's in pretty good condition as you can see. The spine is a little bit broken, just the beginning, not the entire spine and it just it looks good. So now I have four books to show you. Um, I got three together just right away and then we went back and I found another one and we got it as well. So the first one that I got, um, this is by an author that has, you know, got me really excited. I'm just really curious because I follow Sheena and she talks about this um, author a lot and she just, um, not just, but she has recently uh, filmed a video about this author and I'm talking about Francine Rivers. So this is The Scarlet Thread and this is about two women who are actually uh, centuries apart. <laughs> so one of them um, is a woman of today her life is about to be turned upside down. And then we have another one who is a young pioneer on the Oregon Trail. And these women are connected uh, through a journal. So I really like that idea. I like how, first I like that we have two perspectives, two different perspectives. I really like the idea of them being centuries apart. And I also like the journal concept. Uh, so yeah. Excited about this one? Again, this is supposed to be used, it's, it's new, this is brand new. And this one was 2 euros. So, how beautiful is that? And then I have 3 in Penguin Popular Classics, which I love. Brand new, even though they're supposed to be used. <laughs> and they're all by the same author, Anthony Trollope. I'm very excited. So I got Dr. Thorne. Brand new, guys, this is brand new. I got Farmley Parsonage, also by Trollope. And I got The Small House at Allington, also by Trollope. Uh, these are part of a series that is called, I forgot, Barsetshire Chronicles. I actually got the third, the fourth, and the fifth book in this series. Um, so three out of six. I checked online and a lot of people say that I can read these books without having read the first and the second. Like I really need to read the first if I want to read the second and the last one has to be the last one but everybody or most people <laughs> say that these three I can read them just like this. I can start with Dr. Thorne and then Friendly Parsonage and then The Small House at Allington. Um, if you have read this series, can you please confirm if I can read these three without having read the first and the second? Uh, because a lot of people say that I, it's not really necessary. I'm super excited. First because, you know, Victober is just around the corner and I follow like all the vlogs for Victober and a lot of people read Trollope and they seem to love him. I didn't know anything about him until KT from Books and Things uh, started talking about him. So I got very excited and then more people that I subscribed to started reading his books. So I really want to start with Dr. Thorne. I just, I don't know if I can. I don't want to ruin the entire series before I even start it. Those are all the books that I got. I am very excited <laughs> about all of these. They look so good. I'm super excited. Whoa. So today is August 31st. Tomorrow we go back to work. Not really go back because we're having meetings only. Like classes haven't started yet. And we're going to do them online. So yeah, just ease our way back to work. 
Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I just I've been cleaning the office and getting everything organized, so the beginning is not as hard. But yeah. So let me know <laughs> if you have read any of these books. Let me know about Trollope's books. Let me know if I can read Doctor Thorne without having read the first and the second in the series. And yeah, tell me your experience. I know it's best to start with the first one if you're reading a series, but apparently it's not a big deal. And um, I don't know when I'll get a chance to buy the other two books that I'm missing. Uh, three, if I count the last one. So I would really like to start. <laughs> so um, yeah, let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!